Hi guys, Ramzan here. Here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can integrate PayPal smart buttons into your product page of the Shopify store. This video is specific for Sans theme. If you have any other theme, then you can explore shopwebsitecodes.com. There I have already published a lot of codes with different themes. Now the first step is you should download the code. I have already added the link below in the description. You just need to click on that link and uh, you will be getting a zip file. You should extract it and you will be having these four files. Just open documentation.txt and here I have already written a lot of uh, steps which you need to follow along with this video so the first step is like go to dashboard of the Shopify store click on themes click on edit code and open snippets so here we have the dashboard of the store you can see we have installed sense theme click on these three dots click on duplicate actually you should duplicate this uh, theme so that later on if you have any mistake you can restore the original version back once you have done duplicating this theme then you should click on edit code here we have some folders and files you should click on snippet snippets and in the next step we have to create a new snippet which is paypal-smart-buttons copy this name click on add a new snippet and paste the name here and click on done here we have the empty file where we have to paste the attached code actually we have uh, paypal with credit card so you need to completely copy this code and then paste it right here and move ahead with the third step which is add below event in quantity input find quantity underscore underscore input actually we have to go to section scroll it down and we have main dash product dot liquid and inside of it we have to find quantity underscore input actually this is an input element for the quantity selector so inside of it we have to write this line of code so you should copy this line of code and paste it just here and then click on save once the changes are saved then you should go to fourth step which is add your live client id of paypal in line number eight so actually here in paypal dash smart dash buttons dot liquid you can see line number eight i have added live client id of the paypal so actually this client id is from the sandbox account for the testing purpose only but you have to use original live client id of your paypal i will be adding a video link in the description you just need to follow that video to get your live client id of your paypal and copy and paste it right here make sure to keep this uh, client id in between double quotes and then after you can also change the currency right now i have added us dollars if you have euros you can write it eur or maybe any other currency if you want and then the next step is inspect quantity selector element and get id and paste it in line number nine so actually in line number nine i have added quantity id so this quantity id i have to find from the front end each store will have different quantity id click on catalog click on any of the product here and right click on this quantity input box and click on inspect and you can see that input element is highlighted here if you don't see input element then you should click on this inspector click on this uh, quantity input box and then this input element will be highlighted you should copy this id uh, once you are double clicking on it it will be highlighted you should copy it and then paste it right here and then click on save so make sure remove this id and then paste the new id all right now the next step is go to assets open global.js and find below line so actually we have to scroll it down click on assets and then we have global.js and we need to search this function copy this line and using control f or maybe command f you should search this function and this is opening from here and closing at this curly brace so we have to copy this line of code we need to paste this line of code just above this curly brace and then click on save once the changes are saved then we have the final step which is go to customize product and create a custom html section and paste below code so actually we have to go to the dashboard of the store again here you should click on customize click on this drop down click on products and click on default product on the left hand side you will be having product information click on add block click on custom liquid and here we have this input box where we have to paste this line of code copy this line of code and paste it right here and then you should actually uh, drag this custom liquid to just below buy buttons and then click on save once the changes are saved then you can see that paypal buttons are appearing with yellow paypal button as well as debit or credit card button so sometimes people are not interested to keep buy it now button so how you can hide it you should click on buy buttons click on uh, this checkbox and click on save and this will automatically hide the buy button from product page now we only have paypal button as well as debit or credit card button so let's test on the front end let me refresh it now you can see that on the mobile view it will look like this and if you will see the desktop view so you can see this will be the appearance so now the important aspect is to test its uh, prices 
is so for example this product title is women under shirts and we have the price 44 us dollars color is red quantity is one so let's click on paypal button to cross check the information which is passed into this uh, paypal so i have already logged in with my sandbox account so you should click on this price and you can see we have one woman undershirt red color and 44 us dollars that means information is correct now for example i am interested to change the quantity so let's see the update here you should click on price and you can see that quantity is updated woman undershirt red and 88 us dollars so that means this information is also correct the next is color variant i have changed the color variant Let's Let's click on paypal button again here you should click and you can see that we have rose color variant with 45 us dollars so that means everything is perfect now the important point is that sometimes customers don't have paypal account so they can use actually debit or credit card button once you are clicking on this button then you will be getting a form where the customers can enter card details billing address and shipping address and then they can purchase the product so this is really simple because you will not lose the customers because of paypal account because in most of the cases people don't have the paypal account so they are interested to pay using their credit card or maybe debit card one more thing is that sometime people are not interested to keep this yellow button so how we can hide this yellow button so actually i have already attached the code which is this one only credit dash card dot txt copy this complete code and replace the existing code which is paypal dash smart dash buttons dot liquid remove it and paste the new code and uh, we have to update the quantity id as well as live client id so i have already the same uh, client id but uh, quantity id is uh, now not same so i have to right click here click on inspect and copy this quantity id and paste it right here and click on save once the changes are saved then you can refresh the page and you can see that the debit and credit card button is only there but yellow paypal button disappeared so sometime you are interested to uh, keep only debit or credit card button so in that way this process will work fine otherwise you can undo the changes click on save click on refresh the page again and then you will find that paypal button appearing again so that's how you can actually implement paypal smart buttons into your shopify store if you will see its mobile view it will look like this so this is pretty beautiful all right so if you are facing any issue or maybe stuck in code then definitely you can contact me i will be adding the contact details below in the description so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section also so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please like this video also subscribe this channel thank you once again see you in the next video